way he communicates, how, how helpful is that for a team? Because it just seems like the messaging is very clear and you know, when he talks, it's, there's something behind it. Is that it is very clear. You know exactly where you stand with him. Every, every player on this team has a relationship with him, you know, uh, I would assume, the, just the way he is with everybody. And, uh, you know, he, uh, you know, he's, him and I have always had a great relationship, you know, since I've been here. I, I've, we've had some great times together. Some, we've battled through some things and worked through some things together. And uh, I've just enjoyed being around him. You know, I, I enjoy learning from him. And he, he's a really smart coach, but he's very detailed. Um, but everyone in, our room, everyone in our building knows exactly where they stand with him. And if you don't, you ask him, he'll tell you straight to your face. Is there, how have you handled, I guess, since Monday, you know, yeah. being dismissed now, really, and how have you handled the whole situation? I would hate to, I would hate to say that I have a lot of experience at that, you know, um, but I, I do. I've been in a lot of those situations, and, and I mean, you hear the rumblings before I even came here, you know, um, but I just love this city. I love this team, and I love DA, you know, and ne we never thought they would get to that, you know, but when it happens, um, DA sent us a, a text to the, the captains, and was able to send him a message back, and uh, and he knows that you know we're in you know we're in in season mode, and so there there'll be a time where you know we could have a conversation and you know spend some time together. Uh, um, but he just wants us to win. You know, he, he that's all he wants for us, and that was his message. You know, he loved us, and we everyone to a man, all of us captains. We just we we're like man, we wish you know we wish we could have won more for you. We wish we could have all been healthy like at the right times and all those kind of things like. Sorry, you know, like it was just, it's just, it's sad, it sucks. Um, but one thing in this business, and, you know, and he knows this, like it's not that we don't love him and we don't care. We just have to, you have to move on to the next day um, because this business never stops. Is it harder though, knowing that you, like this is the second time you and DA specifically have been through this situation? Was this time, was that the case? This one was harder. The first time was like three games into my rookie year. And I was like, dang, this is, this is the NFL. Like, you know, goodness gracious. And so, um, well, at least that's been my experience. You know, I've, I've been in some tough situations. And at the end of the day, you know, you just keep, you just try and put your best foot forward and win football games. And, you know, for, for this time, it was different because it's just years of knowing somebody, you know, and then you want to, you know, you want to come in and you want to help them out. And, you know, you, and we started fast and I was like, all right, cool. You know, and then we hit that lull and then all the, whatever happened, happened, you know, and, then he gets fired, and it's like, dang, like, you know, I, I almost felt like this time was quick too, you know, um, you know. But I, I understand how the NFL is. I understand how it works, and so um, it's a it's a sad time because at the end of the day, we're all human. Like he has a family, you know, he has kids, uh, you know, and a, a wife, you know, that um, that we all have emotions and all these kind of things, and so we are human. But at the at the end of the day, he's a, he's a very blessed, you know, he's a blessed man. And I know he's going to be just fine because he's a really good football coach. How's practice today? How's practice today? Tempo move. Uh, extremely, extremely fast, upbeat, fast, nonstop moving. Um, you know, we were, we were in and out, um, but I mean, I think that was the, that's the most plays we've run in a practice in a, in a you know, in, you know, in my career, like in a long time. And uh, you know, so we got a lot of good reps. Um, you know, at different different speeds, of course, but a lot of good reps, a lot of different looks, and uh, you know, hopefully that translate translates to you know, you get more time on task on something, we get better at it. And so, you know, Lord knows we need to be better at what we're doing right now. So, you know, Riz made you know laid out some of the things that you know, I'll let him talk about some of the things that he thinks we need to do better. And but he also gave us a plan, and we executed that plan today on how to continually get better at those things as a team. Can you kind of just describe where the, I don't know, sort of the mood or the mindset of the team is right now? I mean, obviously, getting kicked a little bit on Monday with Dennis, but how would you describe where you guys are right now? Yeah, I would describe how we are right now is, um, you know, we're, our backs are against the wall, you know, and literally, and, and, and it sucks. We put ourselves there, but what I saw today was a team which I was really proud of how we how we practiced because um, we came out and fought. You know, there's we're we are trying our best. You know, we are to put our, we're, we're every day. You know, I, I come in here early and there's guys in here early. I, I stay late and there's still like a whole bunch of guys in their meeting rooms and guys on the practice field afterward. And so there's a lot of guys trying to do the right thing, you know, um, and and for me today, like the feeling was, no, we're going to 
you know, whoever's next on the schedule, like, you know, they got, they got to be ready for a fight. You know, we're not just going to lay down and you know, die. We're not just going to lay down and, you know, let it happen. You know, we got to, you got to fight back, you know, and we are, we are in a tough spot, but we got no one to blame but ourselves, you know, and DA caught the, the brunt of it because he was the head coach. But at the end of the day, everyone in our building had a hand in that. And so, you know, we all felt it, but today was, it was a good practice. You know, today was a good day and we got to, we, I mean, that's the only option you have. You know, you, you can either, you can either quit or just keep fighting no matter what, you know, and I just think that we have just a locker room full of guys that are just going to keep fighting, um, you know, no matter what happens. Yeah, I know you said it's only on Tommy, but, but like how many more reps is it like? Ooh, I, I, I wouldn't know. I'm sorry. It just felt like, a, you know, a lot more. Yeah. I'm sorry. I don't know the exact number. Derek, you said, unfortunately, you've been through this a few times. What, I, I'm sure it's very common for members next to try to bring energy and change right away. Yeah. What, what has worked at last? Like, yeah. what, what's something you know from experience that, that can make a permanent difference? Yeah, that's a great question because I, I mentioned this to some of our players, you know, on Monday. I was like, you know, when we got, you started hearing the rumblings that it might happen. I was like, well, ever, well, we didn't know who it was going to be yet. And I said, well, whoever it is, it just, whatever it was, whether it was good or bad, it doesn't matter. It, it just has to be different. You know, when you come in the building on Wednesday, it has to feel different. There has to be a new energy because you've, you know, it just, you, you go however many in a row that it hasn't gone well, something that Wednesday has to feel different. And this Wednesday felt different. And, and it, just in my experience, when it feels different, does it result in wins and all that kind of stuff right away? No, but it usually results in good results down the road. You know, um, and our, our plan is to make the good results now, obviously. But um, whatever it is, the feeling of the building, the feeling, the energy, the, the schedule, whatever, you have to start doing stuff differently. You know? And he, he said, look, we got to do something different. And we all have to buy into that. And we bought into it. And you know, when, that, when that happens, um, just in my experience, that usually is a good thing. Um, you know, I, I've been around sometimes where someone has to step in or something and it kind of just stays the same. And it's like, you know, you kind of, with the older players, they're like, what are you, what are you offering you know, me that, you know, some kind of hope you know, that it can be different um, results-wise. You know, so just in, in my experience, like if you come in with something different and a plan, that points to winning that, you know, guys are used to seeing, like, and we've all had spurts where we've won in our career, and you look at it and you're like, that reminds me of that, you know, and that kind of gives you hope back in, about it. What, what is not top secret information that you can share that, that is part of Dan Rizzi's plan for winning or, or approach to winning? Um, that's a good question. I wish he was in here so I could ask him what I could say. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what stuck out as, being, as looking or feeling different? Well, definitely practice was different. Um, you know, the time, time, the time that we're out there, the intensity of what we're doing and how, how we're doing it. And there's, there's, no, there's no wasted minute of the day. You know, like, I mean, the, the schedule, you know, the, the, the rest he's allowing us to get and the, 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 his big thing, I think, is for us to feel fresh on Sundays. Just if I'm looking at it as a veteran player, how he's putting the schedule, the mental reps, you know, especially as you get later in the season, um, you know, his answer isn't just to continue, um, you know, because I've had coaches on both sides and I've seen it work and not work on both ways. Um, you know, there's some coaches that think, you know, if it's not working, well, we got to do more physically. And then his mindset is we're going to still do the physical, but I need more mentally because, you know, the discipline of the penalties, the discipline of the mental errors, um, you know, so far for us as a team, that could be better. And so for him, you know, us being a better mental uh, tough and mental, um, aware football team, I think was definitely evident um, to me in what he's trying to um, produce in us. Gary, just something about that activation period <laughs> that he yeah. added. Um, yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about what you feel in terms of the impact of having that? Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, it, it, everyone's different. You know, we, you know, sometimes, you know, coaches have different schedules and different things, but his thing today was like everyone is going to activate and we're going to do it together. And it's not just the stretch period, but this is like an activation beforehand because, you know, we know, I mean, it's no secret we've had a lot of crazy injuries, you know, this season. So he was like, I'm going to do my best to make sure that we're better at that. And that was his kind of stamp. And he did some other things that I don't know if he told you all, so I'm not going to say them, um, you know, for us uh, to make sure that we are physically ready to hit practice running. Um, and hopefully by doing that and the way he's doing the schedule and different things that were so fresh on Sundays, um, that we feel great, you know, and hopefully, hopefully that number 
you know, stays down or goes down. There's something nominal, like changing sides of the field in practice. You know, obviously, you know, the creatures have it. When does that make it feel different? Even if you're doing a lot of the same things, does that change kind of your perception of how practice is? Absolutely. You know, sometimes you can go through it, and uh, you know, I always say to like young guys, don't let it feel like Groundhog Day. You know, you got to come out with a purpose all the time, because easily you can get into this because it's such a long season, and every Wednesday feels the same. I mean. I've had moments where I literally have deja vu. I'm like stepping on the same part of the grass at a Wednesday practice at that minute, at that, you know, like, and it can, it can be that way and you can't let it get that way, you know? Um, and so, yeah, I mean, changing perspectives. And so, um, you know, with, with Riz today, he wanted to change perspectives in the meeting rooms. He's like, sit by a new teammate tomorrow, you know, like just change your perspective in the room, you know, just all that kind of stuff. And so he just, He's doing all these kind of things, and, and us as players, we love it. And, uh, you know, it does, it does feel different, and hopefully, hopefully it just results to wins because, like, we can feel good all we want and, like, you know, and, and all that kind of stuff, but, you know, like, our city needs a winner. And so hopefully that's what it produces. You said a few times that um, you heard rumblings before you signed here. Mm -hmm. like, what did you mean by that? Do you mean, like, you felt like there was a lot of pressure on DA to win? or? Yeah, I wouldn't say, like, from the organization, like, you know, just, like, the outside. Like, when you're in that... Like that's probably the only time like I was so open to what was being said about every team because I was like trying to figure out everything, you know. And so like you hear those things like you know maybe they, you know are they gonna want a new coach and this and that and you hear different things about a whole bunch of teams and um, you know like they reassured me like going into last season like that was like they're not we're not thinking that you know and uh, you know so it ended uh, it ended up he, he was there all year last year and then going into this year. Um, I wasn't really even thinking about that, especially with the way that we started. But yeah, I mean, I heard those things, but it was like, you know, I'm not really concerned about that. I just want to go, you know, I want to go play for this team with this group of guys um, and, and that coach. So, good. Awesome. Thank you all. Thanks, Gary.